Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit back and enjoy as we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your special guest host, Richard and Joyce Hampton. Good evening and welcome into the Hour of Harvest. We hope you're ready to sit back and relax for the next hour. And we've got a good group here tonight, the first time they've been here. And from what I heard during the sound check, I think you all are really going to enjoy it. So uh, get your glass of water or whatever you drink, coffee, whatever, and just sit back and enjoy it for the next hour. We're filling in for Sister Margaret tonight because Brother Don lost a sister and the funeral was today. So uh, just keep him in your prayer along with Lonnie and the whole family. They, it's always hard to lose a loved one. But we're going to uh, let Richard uh, read the Bible, read some verses for you tonight. And then we we'll, won't take too long and we'll let them get started so you all can enjoy the singing tonight. Richard? Okay. I'd like to say it's, it's a real pleasure to be able to be back here again tonight. And uh, like I've said so many times, you know, any, any, any place we can work in the Lord's work, we're willing to, to do it. And uh, this, this helps Sister Margaret and them out when they can't be here for us to come. And uh, since we're retired and doing nothing else, it's, it's good for us too to get out and come. I'm going to be reading from the book of Psalms tonight, the 139th Psalm. I'll read a couple of verses here. It says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. And it's what he says, Search me and, uh, and know my heart. Try me or test me, Lord, and make sure that I'm truthful in what I'm saying. In another place it said, Lord, create within me a clean heart and you renew a right spirit within me. You know, sometimes we need uh, a heart transplant to get us in the right frame of mind and frame of life to serve the Lord. And, and uh, we need, certainly sometimes need a uh, right spirit put within us. We get those old grouchish, hateful spirits and, you know, it's good for nobody. And we need God to, to give us a spirit of love and compassion for those around us and uh, you know, today it's hard to find the true love of God in people, but we, we need to search for it. And if, if we're a child of God, we need to show it to people. But uh, we, we, David was saying, Lord, know my, know my heart. Search my heart. Make sure that there's nothing in there that's contrary to what you would have me to be. Uh, see if there's any wicked way in me and lead me in the ways of everlasting. And that's what we need to be doing today. We need to God to search us to try us, to check us out, give us a checkup, and get us on the right road to glory and help us to stay on that road as we travel through this wicked world that we're living in. And without him on our side, there's no way we're going to make it. But we, with him, all things are possible, and he'll lead us through this world here, through this life, and take us home with him when our life is done here. Just make sure that you're ready to go at that time. Whenever that call comes, make sure that you've got your life in order, that you've got your heart set on God and, and doing His will, and that you've been washed in the blood, and then you can go to heaven when you leave this life here. And um, that, uh, that would be a real blessing at times, you know, to go ahead and leave and go home and be with the Lord. You know, Paul, Paul had that desire. He says, you know, for me to depart and be with the Lord is far better, but it's more needful for me to stay here for you all in order to, you know, reach more people. And, that's the case and, and for a lot of us. You know, the Lord is keeping us here because we still got work to do. When our work's done, when our race is run, then he'll take us home to be with him. Just be sure that you're ready. Let's have a word of prayer and we'll turn the singers loose. Our Heavenly Father, we've come to you now, Lord, to give you thanks that you've blessed us to see another day of life 
give us another opportunity, Lord, to maybe help somebody along life's way that may be downtrodden or, or giving up on life's way. Maybe something will be said tonight or something in a song or something spoken word, Lord, that will give them the courage to get up and go on and keep traveling until that day comes that they can come home to be with you. We'll thank you, Lord, for all that you do for us and for what you're going to do here tonight. We ask your blessings on the singers, upon the uh, camera operators, and upon the phone operators tonight, Lord, that they may be able all to work together to help somebody and send the gospel forth over the airways tonight to, the, to a needy world out there. And we'll thank you for it in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Tonight we have for the first time, it's two for the cross. Their address is 529 South Central Avenue, Nicholasville, Kentucky, 40356. And uh, you can call in this phone number and you'll be talking with Rich Conaway, 859-671-0934. Now they do still have a few CDs, so if you want one, you might ought to give them a call tonight and uh, talk with them. And uh, also, if you have a prayer request, or you need salvation, whatever your need is, you can call upstairs and talk with the phone operators, and they'll be more than happy to talk to you. The phone number is 606-464-4250. So uh, give them a call if you need to, need to give them a prayer request or whatever. And they'll also pray with you. So uh, feel free to call. Right now, let's go over to our guest, Two for the Cross. My name is uh, Steve, and this is my first cousin, Jason. We are two for the cross. Uh, the songs we're going to do for you tonight are uh, songs we've written, so you may not be familiar with them, but we ask you keep an open heart, an open mind, and let's worship the Lord together. And the best way to do that is to let yourself become a tool in the hand of the carpenter. You ready? I'm just a tool in the hand of the carpenter, just a tool in the hand of the carpenter, tool in the hand of the carpenter, hammering away at the world. Well, now, Lord sent a twelve out into the world to spread the news and do his work one soul at a time, boys, day by day. If you they would say I'm just a tool in the hand of the carpenter Just a tool in the hand of the carpenter Tool in the hand of the carpenter Hammering away at the world All right, Jay. Well, now I am the seeker, and he is the way. He is the potter, and I am the clay. Hold me and show me as I go. Tis a well, Lord, and my soul tool. I'm a tool in the hand of the carpenter. Just a tool in the hand of the carpenter. Tool in the hand of the carpenter. Hammering away at the world One more time now, come on I'm just a tool in the hand of the carpenter Just a tool in the hand of the carpenter Tool in the hand of the carpenter Hammering away at the world Hammering away At the world All right, you know a lot 
of people go through this life searching for a sign that God truly loves them. And what they don't realize is that God already sent us a sign of his love. He sent it to us in the form of his son 2,000 years ago, and he left that sign hanging on a nail. My grandma loves my grandpa, and I guess she has since they were small. So she kissed him one day, and she told him so. Said, If you feel the same way, give me a sign and let And got some bright red paint Drew a great big heart And he signed his name On a piece of wood Then he took it to a yard So when she woke up The first thing she see was his heart Left it hanging on a nail, hammered to a tree, painted in red for all the world to see. A big I love you to you from me. They got married and my mom and she got married and I came along and as I grew up started searching for a sign to help me find my way day by day through the same gone line Then one night in a church I saw a picture of him hanging on a cross and I knew right then that God loves me and he told me so Send me a sign in the form of a sun long ago. He left it hanging on a nail, hammer to a tree, painted in red for all the world to see. A big I love you. You from me hanging on a 
nail Hammer and hammer to a tree Thank you all once again for tuning in tonight. And uh, we live in a crazy, tipsy, topsy world. And I'm so glad in this world that there is a cross right in the middle between heaven and hell. I told her. I loved her, and I said, I do, but what I meant was I might, cause broken hearts are seldom true, and I've crawled out of places I should have never walked in, and all I've got to show for it is a pocket full of sin words spoken in anger you can never take back i've done a little bit of this and said a whole lot of that and the people of me are the ones I've heard the most so it's down to you and me your son and the Holy Ghost and there's a real thin line between wrong and right and I've crossed it Yes, I'm somewhere between who I was and who I'll be. Thank God there's a cross between heaven and hell. I know I don't deserve it. Nobody does. Salvation, redemption, the eternal gift of love. But I'm coming to you, Jesus. I'm down on my knees. You're the only thing standing between the devil and me. And I'm somewhere between who I was and who I'll be. Thank God there's a cross between heaven and hell Yes, I'm somewhere between who I was and who I'll be Thank God there's a cross between heaven and hell Jay over here do one for you. This is a song about a guy named Jesse. 
how he met a man named Jesus. I just got back into town and I just heard the news Somebody please tell me now it isn't really true Word travels fast in this one horse town But I couldn't believe it when I heard them went down At the First Baptist Church Down by the Greek church Jesse found Jesus just last week Why he went to church nobody really knew Before it was over he was only far few Cried and prayed Say an amen and confess unto the Lord quite a number of sins. Miracles happen every day, and I guess that's true. Cause Jesse got saved. Jesse found Jesus. Jesse found Jesus. Hey, Jesse found Jesus. Never thought he would, but God sure fools you. Jesse found Jesus. Hallelujah. That Jesse was a rebel, he was ready to prove it But a good old boy once you got down to it He been known to fight, he been known to fuss He been known to drink and he been known to cuss And I guess the truth finally got to him A cousin Jesse found Jesus, amen Jesse found Jesus, Jesse found Jesus hey, Jesse found Jesus Never thought he would, but God showed food you just had found Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody tell his mama, somebody tell the cops A lot of sinning in this town is just about to stop Miracles happen every day and I guess that's true Cause Jesse got saved, never thought he would But God sure fooled you and Jesse found Jesus Hallelujah My guitar won't do what his does. His does all this stuff. Mine just kind of strums along, <laughs> but that's okay. You know, God does something very special for us. He gives us a chance to start completely over. No matter who you are, where you've been, or what you've done, when it comes to Jesus Christ, you can start over and become a brand new man. <laughs> Hey, yo, friend, how you been? Yeah, it's been a while. It's good to hear your voice. Great to see your smile. I'd love to hang out. But before we do, there's something about me I've got to tell you. You see, the old man you knew he's not here anymore I may look the same to you but I'm different than before I've been washed in the blood and saved by grace there's a brand new man behind this old face hard to believe that I could change 
That's why they call it Amazing Grace. Not putting you on, not putting you down. Just trying to walk a new path I have found. See the old. Same to you, but I'm different than before. I've been washed in the blood and saved by grace. There's a brand new man behind this old So fall on your knees, call on his name, just like me, you can say, the old man you knew, he's not here anymore, I may look the same to you, but I You can become a brand new man with Jesus Christ. You know, today is September the 11th. It's the 20th anniversary of the terrorist attack on our country. And uh, we've got a song that we want to do in honor of America and in honor of our veterans. To all those who keep us safe year-round, we want to say thank you. And this song is called My Purple Heart. Had said, time to read it and simplify their ending. Above the scars on his arm. So I sat down, asked his name, shook his hand, and told him things for help keeping me free. He said, son, you don't know what that means to me. Cause there's some that didn't come back alive and some that got left behind. And boy, you don't do that. 
Now there's some that are bent and paralyzed All because they stood for the stars and stripes And some came home but never really came back And we owe a debt to those who served Doesn't matter where they were They all did their part And when people forget it breaks my purple heart Said, boy, I was much older than you when I left back to Rouge and landed in Saigon. But when I got home, there was no parade, just a country torn and full of hate. And I'm not proud of what I'd done. I still think I'm one of the lucky ones Cause there's some that didn't come back alive And some that got left behind And boy, don't do that Now there's some that are bent and paralyzed All because they stood the stars and stripes and Some came home But never really came back And we were dead to those who served Doesn't matter where they were They all did their part And when people forget It breaks my purple heart we owe a debt to those who served Doesn't matter where they were They all did their part And when people forget it breaks My purple heart God bless you veterans And God bless America We're going to turn it back over to Mr. Jason over here. Anything you want to say about this song, Jay? This song is called The Hand That Took the Nail. And uh, Jesus really did. He took the nail and he took our sins with it and he nailed it all to the cross. And that's what this song's about. You were born a virgin birth A piece of heaven here on earth Became the man I'd like to be You walked on the water and calmed the sea You paid a debt I could not pay it washed all my sins away So the least that I can do Since you died for me is live for you You took the nails for me My sins, my guilty plea You make my wrongs all right You're the and my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. 
Your love never fails I'll take the hand that took the nails You came back from the dead Your words are written in red You're the way, the truth, the life And you reign in heaven on high But someday you'll leave your throne Come to call your children home And my name is on your list all because of what you did You took the nails for me My sins, my guilty plea You make my wrongs all right You're the reason I'm forgiven And my name is written In the Lamb's book of life Your love never fails So I'll take the hand that took the nails You took the nails for me My sins, my guilty plea You make my wrongs all right You're the reason I'm forgiven And my name is written In the Lamb's book of life your love never fails so I'll take the hand that took the nail 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 Amen. He took those nails for you. And he took them from me. And we can never forget that as we walk through this world. I used to live in Nashville, Tennessee. Tell a quick story. I was trying to be a songwriter. And it turns out they already had a bunch of songwriters there. But that's another story. <laughs> so, anyway, there on I-65 going south, uh, there were two crosses on the side of the road. One said, Wendy knew Jesus. And there was a little cross that said, do you. And that just touched my heart. And I wrote this song about that. I've never met Wendy, uh, but this song's for her. And it's called, Wendy Knew Jesus. You ready? Taking a drive down 65, cruising through Tennessee. When on the side of the road I saw a cross, and it got to me. It was white and it let us paint it.
Christ is your Lord and Savior tonight. Wendy did. All right. I'm going to let my cousin Jason over here do one by himself. It's a song that he wrote called The Well. And I know you're going to love it.
Good drive, Jay. I love that song. All right. We want to thank WLJC for having us tonight. It's been great here getting to know everybody. They've got a great crew, a great ministry here going, and we're just thankful to be a part of it. We want to end with this song. We always do this as our last song, and this is called The Gospel Train. So y'all get a ticket, and let's ride it together. Now there's a gospel train coming, is it coming for you? They said every knee will bow before we're through. I'm going to go into that station right on time. Gospel train coming, don't let it pass you by. I hear that train, I hear that train rolling down a track. Once it passes by, it ain't ever coming back. So you better get your ticket, or you better save your seat. I hear that whistle blowing for you and me. Cause there's a gospel train coming, is it coming for you? They said every knee will bow before we're through. We're gonna pull into that station right on time. Gospel train coming, don't let it pass you by. Here it comes. Well, I don't you hear the engine. Can't you smell the smoke? Clickety-clack coming down the track, saving souls. Check your reservations, make your plans. Final destination, promised land. Cause there's a gospel train coming, is it coming for you? They said every will bow before we're through. We're gonna pull into that station right on time. Gospel train coming, don't let it pass you by. Blow that whistle, son. Stop and let me ride. Stop and let me ride. Okay, I need to give you the phone number again because I misread it a few minutes ago. I know that's not normal for me to make a mistake. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm joking, but I did make a mistake a few minutes ago. You'll be calling Rich Conaway, 859-621-0934. And that's to talk to him about the group Two for the Cross. And we're going to be talking with Rich in a few minutes here. But right now we've got some prayer requests and uh, we'll read those and then we'll be talking with Rich. Alfie from Wolf County has called. She needs prayer. She wants to get back to her home. A mother has called in for her daughter. Fayette County needs prayer. Eva has called in for a family in Morgan County. Several family members have COVID. Now, COVID is raging everywhere right now. So uh, be careful when you're out and about and uh, take precautions. Okay, Betty called in for Ron from Scott County for prayer. Thelma called in for herself and the family from Madison County. The Campbell County from Prairie needs prayer. They have a serious special request for the family. 
And John from Knox County called in for prayer for himself. He's grieving. He just lost his wife. Donald from Pulaski County, pray for his sister Jackie. She's sick. And also pray for his church. Uh, this came in from a lady in Knox County. Pray for her, her and her husband. Alfred from Clay County wants prayer for his wife Donna. Also George and Ella May and for himself. Phyllis from Laurel County called in for Lita May Ton and Tanya have COVID. And then Rick, Kathy, Elkie, Pam, Mickey and Russell also need prayer. And Ms. Cavanaugh from Fayette has called in, says tell Sister Margaret and Don that she's sorry to hear about Don's sister and asking everyone to pray for Brother Fred and her as well. She has health issues. Terry called in from Menifee County for her family, or maybe it's his family. Uh, also, a friend called in for Lonnie and Sandy. Lonnie is... Uh, Don's brother that plays with him. They have health problems. And Robin has fluid on the knee, needs prayer from Clay County. And I believe that may be Lonnie's son. Richard, you want to read yours while I read the rest of these? Alrighty. From Prairie County, Claudette called in for the Campbell family. It says, have two serious unspoken requests. From Pulaski County, a friend called in for Ellen and Irvin. Uh, Got health issues. Linda called in from Laurel County for prayer. From Jackson County, Gladys called in for son. Pray for all of, the, of Gladys's family. Uh, here's another one from Gladys. Uh, very sick. Pray for the family. Franklin County, Phyllis called in for prayer. From Laurel County, Betty called in for Colleen. She has COVID. From Ohio County, a daughter called in for Ethel. She's had a stroke and pray for the family traveling to Ohio tomorrow. Enjoy. Okay, I have a few others here that just came in. Martha called in from Lee County, needs prayer. Uh, this is from Breathitt County. It says, pray for Gordon, Ruby, Bill, Ruth, Beth, and Candy. And a sister from Clay County called in for Joseph and Jeffrey. And Peggy called in from Estill County. Pray for a friend with a leg problem. And Diane from Boyle County really enjoyed the singing tonight. We've got a few more coming here. Okay, I believe we have a few more. But uh, we'll get these read and then we'll talk to you about the group. Is that okay with you? That's fine with me. Prayer is important. Yes, it is. It's very important. Okay, this one is uh, George from Flemingsburg. said pray for... Nancy and her two daughters will be traveling home Monday, so pray for traveling mercy. Those are very, very important prayer requests. We have five minutes here, and we'll let you uh, tell us about the group if you want to a little bit. Just give us about a couple of minutes to finish up the prayer request. All right, thank you very much. Uh, we do appreciate you all letting us come out here and uh, sharing God's Word through music. Uh, just tell everybody a little bit. Uh, we are from uh, Nicholasville, Kentucky. Um, and Steve and Jason uh, both work very hard um, in keeping original music uh, going. And we've got a couple of uh, things coming up. If you're in the Nicholasville area, uh, we'll be at Bethel Christian Church Tuesday night at 6.30 uh, for their revival. Um, September 24th, we'll be at the Levi Jackson State Park. Uh, they've got a festival going on. We play at 9 p.m. Uh, September 26th in Nicholasville. Uh, we will be at uh, Mount Eden Christian Church for their homecoming services. Sounds like you're going to be busy for a little while We'd here. Like being busy. That's right. It's good. How long has the group been together? Steve, you had to help on that one. Four years? These, these two have been playing together. Again, they're relatives, so they've been playing together for a while. But officially, they've been together for two for the cross for about five years. Okay. About five years. That's good. Yeah. That's good. It's always good to have families work together. Yes, it is. We have a daughter and a niece that sing with us along with two other deacons in the church. And it makes a good group when you've got family that can participate 
in what you're doing. Absolutely. It sure does. So and uh, I, I just get to sit back and push the pencil and um, take the credit for what they do. There you go. You get to tell them what to do, maybe. Well, I always <laughs> tell Steve that he's in charge, and then he says I always tell him what we're going to do. There so you go. <laughs> it kind of works out that way. That's right. Every group has to have somebody right. in charge. Right. I guess that's you. And uh, this was called in, it's a correction, Ms. Kavanaugh from Madison County. Okay, I'm not sure what the other one said. But right now we're going to let Richard anoint these and pray for them. <clears throat> Because we know when you all call in for prayer that you're really feeling it. You're really needing that prayer. And we all believe in prayer because without prayer, where would we be? We would still be lost if we were not able to talk to the Lord and ask His forgiveness and take our problems to Him. So, Richard? Well, you know, from the you can tell from the prayer request this week how many people have this virus going around. It's not something that we need to be playing with. It's very serious. Uh, we've got friends that's near and death's door because of it. But, uh, you know, God is still able to take control. And just be, like Joyce said, take precautions. Take care of yourself. Do what you need to do to stay safe. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we've come to you now, bringing these requests up to you because we know you're the one that can handle them. And, Lord, we have nobody else that we can call on that can do what you can do. So we ask you to minister to the needs of everyone in here. And Lord, just take control of this virus and heal the ones that are sick, Lord, and, and, and bring them through it if it be your will. And Lord, we just pray for a, your touch on all that's sick and afflicted. We know the, not, the virus is not the only thing that's going around right now. So we just bring them to you, ask you to move up on them, touch each one of them, lift them up above their troubles and let them know that you're there walking with them through it all. And we'll thank you for it in Jesus' name. And amen. Amen. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? We have all of one minute, and then I'll take us on. <laughs> uh, I know, again, on behalf of Two for the Cross, we thank you all very much for letting us come out. Uh, we thank you for not kicking us out. Um, and uh, we hope to come back soon. I'm sure you'll probably be receiving a call. And the number, again, since I'm correcting myself, it's 859-621-0934. And uh, we have enjoyed being here tonight. And we ask you all to remember all the requests that's come in. Just add your prayers with all of ours. And we'll, we can reach the throne of grace by doing that. That's the way we talk with God. I know people probably think I'm crazy, but I, I talk to him all day long just as a friend. So we want to say good night. God bless you. Take care. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Bayville, Kentucky, 41311 or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com May God bless you.